Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Aiden Robbins. I'm a filmmaker and YouTuber. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a few different ways you can use masks in Adobe Premiere Pro. A mask allows you to limit the visibility of a layer or effect to only a part of the frame. They can be used for color grading, creating transitions, and honestly, a ton of other useful techniques. The mask options can be found under the opacity section of Eclipse Effect Controls tab, and you'll see there are three different options. We can create an elliptical mask, we can create a rectangular mask, or we can use this pen tool to draw a mask in a custom shape. You can then go in and manually adjust the mask and fine tune its shape. So we can click and drag on any of these points to change the mask's shape. You can also hold down Alt or Option and then click on a point and you'll see that it now has these handles and has a curved edge. And then we can just Option or Alt click on it again and you'll see it goes back to being a straight corner. You can also click and drag to select a group of points and then move them around at the same time. If you hover your cursor right next to one of these points, you'll see this curved arrow appears. And then if you click and drag, you can rotate the mask or if you do the exact same thing but hold down Shift, then you'll see this straight arrow appears and you can click and drag to adjust the mask scale. Under the opacity tab, you'll see we have a few different options. We have the mask feather slider, which allows you to soften out the edges of the mask. We have the expansion slider, which allows you to expand the edge of the mask inward or outward from where it was initially drawn. And finally, we have the opacity slider, which allows you to adjust how visible the contents of the mask are. You can also adjust the mask feather and expansion by just clicking and dragging on this little tail on the edge of the mask. There's also the mask path option, which is not in the form of a slider, but it basically just constitutes the position and shape of the mask. So you can keyframe this to move the mask around. So if I set a keyframe and then move forward a few frames and then just move the mask elsewhere, maybe adjust some of the points, then you can see that it is animated along that path. So let's dig into a couple examples of how you can use masks in your editing first to use them to create a fun little masking transition. So you can see here, I have two clips and I have one overlaid over the other for a few frames and that is going to be the duration of the transition. To create this transition, I'm gonna start out by adding a rectangular mask to the clip and scaling it up to fill the entire frame. And then I'm going to feather it way out so that we have a very smooth edge on this mask. And you can see when I feather it out, the edge begins to creep into the middle of the frame. So I'm going to expand it so that this mask completely fills the frame. Now that we've done that, I'm going to zoom out and set a keyframe for the mask path at the beginning of the clip and move the mask all the way outside of the frame. And then I'm going to move a few frames in and move the mask once again so that it fills the entire frame. And you can see if we scrub through the effect, we've created this cool kind of flashy transition that complements the camera motion of the clip. But masks can be used on effects, not just on clips. For example, on this clip, I'd like to use a mask as a part of my color grading. Looking at the clip, I think the foreground at the bottom of the shot here is just a little too bright and distracting. So I'd like to darken just that part of the frame. To do this, I'm going to drag a new Lumetri color effect onto the clip and you'll see under that effect, we now have those same three masking options. I'm going to once again, use the rectangular mask option and scale this up and position it around the general area of that bottom foreground section of the frame. Then I'm going to feather this mask out so we don't have a harsh edge in the final effect. And then I'm going to open up the basic correction tab of that Lumetri color effect and bring down the exposure. And you'll see we are darkening just that part of the frame that we masked. I use masks as a part of my color grading frequently for effects just like this to confine an adjustment to a specific part of the frame. And there you go, a few different ways to use masks in your video editing. And in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you a few different audio effects, particularly auto ducking and auto syncing by waveform.